Hi. Hey. We're the cops. Hi. Hey. We're taking in your house. The cops. Hey. We're here to take your house. Great. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to these assholes. <laughs> Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? With a police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. It's like his second tier to secretary. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. He has there's like a receptionist and then a That's his his personal secretary. Secretary. May I help you, gentlemen? would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? <laughs> I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is <laughs> Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Yeah. Come into our office. I mean, his office. You like a cigar? Drink, boy. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs. Okay. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. Terrible, boys. How can I help? This guy is already, you can tell, he's such a shit eater. He right. just can't see. Go look, look at his eyes. He's, his eyes are closed. That's going to be hard for us. All right, here we go. All right. Elysian link to arsons. Elysian fields and suburban redevelopment fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Are you sure about that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's I, like, he, I don't think he's even sure. I, I am going to doubt him. Yeah. That is. <laughs> I'm going to doubt him. I'm doubting yeah, him. We he have to. Family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? <laughs> Promotional travel contest. Let's I like that Biggs is trying. <laughs> yeah. What do you know about He's definitely the most family invested. Free vacations to Catalina Island. My company runs many promotions. I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> Dude, dude, you are such a fucking liar. Not you're familiar. You're not familiar with the promotion that has your face on it, offering a free literally, trip to Catalina literally, in the Los Angeles County. Literally right there. Look at that shit. We're literally right there. You, All right. you All right, liar. I'm calling, I'm calling it. You're a fucking liar. I'm calling, I'm calling him. I'm calling him on the phone. I'm getting call angry, phone, you guys. I'm sorry. A message calling him a liar. Someone call my girlfriend and tell her that I need to my blood pressure medication from the 50s because I can't handle this anymore. Why are they always like, prove it? It's like he knows this shit is on this flyer. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the flyer that we've been talking about for five minutes. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? This guy's threatening me with my job. As well? Yes. Yes, I do. Because they did. Local land acquisitions. All right, all right. We're coming for all your right. grandma's all house. By houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. This is not Jurassic That's Park, dude. Way. That's not true, bro. Cold as ice. <laughs> He's doubt. We can doubt the man, but we have nothing to pin he him against him alive. He looks just so slimy. He, because he knows that we can't touch him. So should I doubt him? I doubt the man. Come on, Mister Monroe. 
You expect me to believe in <coughs> development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. All right there, Senator Palpatine. <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't Senator Palpatine. Most people see sense. Rancho Escondido a fire, my dude. Mm. All right. <laughs> What's the prunes. 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 One of our latest housing developments. Prunes. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning. <laughs> fucking horse. Are you sure? <laughs> fucking that horse shit. You're lying. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at that poor cement look quality. Poor cement quality. Poor cement quality. Poor build quality and low grade materials. Boy. Boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna get him. I'm getting him. Him a liar. You're a liar, boy. You're lying, bro. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety bread. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. <laughs> I literally have some yeah, mint quality. I my literally dude. have evidence exactly yeah, saying it. Expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Light. Oh, yeah? You want me to go over there? Of that magnitude demands it. You want me to go over there and talk to those guys? Do you think they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? Yes. The arsonist. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. Do you suppose there could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it'd be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. Sure, dude. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? What a fuck fucking you, dude. asshole. You piece of shit. Glad to be of help, officers. You're just like an so, evil... Any of these names ring a bell? Uh... Just click on all of them. Is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. <laughs> Did you get all the finger pointing? I think I got it all handled. I'm you sure? I'll put it maybe over. Right, make all sure right. you get that line. Yeah, corner. All right, yeah. Cool. Uh, I gotta find a phone. Time to call our wife. That's very nice to us. You can go through the store because it has gold hands. You've learned. I'm learned. Use that phone right there. Hi, I'm gonna use this. Operator, message for KGPL. He never even dials. He's such a badass. <laughs> Maybe that's just how it was, though. Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, God Detective. Damn it. I'm sorry, Detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? All points, bulletin. Detective. That weird guy that we had, we need to get him back. <laughs> Thanks, man. We need to get back that weird guy that we had. What? Yo, is Cole still just like... Wow. Cole! Come on, dude! Is that Roy? Did Roy just walk in? Yeah. yeah. This motherfucker. Buy me a drink, Cole? No. I'd, rather sh I'd rather shoot you in the face, Roy. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? 
wouldn't give you the pleasure. For me, well, get around is something quite other. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... Save threats for someone who cares about them, boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Yeah, you're a corrupt cop who fucked my whole life over, asshole. Yeah, we're taking you down, Roy. I will kill you. I will kill you, Roy. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. I'm gonna take you down. Away. Fuck you, dude. I have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy same kind of people that sent you here your investigation is finished homicide will be taking over from here i've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle i'm gonna literally Thanks kill you a drink Cole. i'm fucking taking you out dude i'm literally gonna kill you i swear to god i'm gonna kill you i swear to god i'm gonna drive to your house and kill you yeah earl delivered it you Kelty started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save him, Phelps. Monroe was an ass white. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all I saved. love this guy. I'm in. This guy is the best partner we've had. He's a sexist. But that's the best we can get in the 40s. Alright. What? Nothing. Okay. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I yes. Did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called ah. Jack Kelso out that way? You know what that achievement was for. He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths Kelso's at Fire and Life? For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? Or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. What? Okay. So, Kelso works for the insurance company that inspected the buildings? This is all one big Cole Phelps conspiracy. Dude, this is LA Confidential. Yo, it is LA Confidential. It's like Chinatown meets LA Confidential. There's a lot more boning in LA Confidential. That's true. Kim Kim Basinger. Basinger or Basinger? I think it's both. By the way, guys, go see the nice guys. Oh, did you see it? I did. I'm gonna go see it soon. Go see that immediately. It's hilarious. It's a great uh, detective situation. Beard Rose Homework, go see that movie. It's funny too. Like this show. We're okay. <laughs> Just like this show. Beer Bros homework. Or Beer Bros. We're yeah. okay. We're, we're, yeah. We're all right. <laughs> Super Beer Bros. Not the Grumps. <laughs> but we're, we're all right. Yeah. We're not as good as the Game Grumps, but we're pretty good. We're like... We're like a solid B. Yeah. B plus. If Super Beer Bros. B plus. <laughs> Super Beer Bros. B plus. <laughs> Cue the uh, the GIF of uh, the dude with the computer. He does the clicking and then he well, does, like the thumb, does the thumbs up. The yeah. thumbs up. Chris, put that picture on screen so everyone knows what we're talking about. You obviously know, but here, bros. Ah. That picture. God oh man, this place is far away. What the fuck? Yeah, you know what? I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting paranoid. Why? I don't know who to trust. I think the only person we can't trust right now is our partner. I think he's the only I one. I think I trust Rusty. No, nah, man. I think well, I, I mean, do. I, I think trust I... Rusty, but Rusty also he's is a sh like... Look, he's a shithead, right? This is bullshit. All of you need to move. Move aside. That's the mother, Rick. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. Yeah, I, I, I trust Rusty, I think, and I think I trust... Uh, what's his name? Biggs. No, I definitely trust Biggs because he's just going to get fucked like me. But uh, the other guy, the first partner, Bukowski, I, I think I trust Bukowski too. I think they're just like kind of like assholes. 
What do we got here? We're looking for Herbert Chapman. He hasn't lived here for three years. Car so I can move along. Shh. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple. Oh hours. shit! He might be dead. He's out somewhere. There's some kind of problem. Let's take a look at the car. Check the trunk. Check the trunk. It's always the trunk. Dude, this is his car, though, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see what he's hauling. It's God an arson damn it. Car. Look at the flyers. This is the arson car, bro. Definitely gives him opportunity. Okay. Yeah, this is fucking the arson car right here. Bullets? 45 caliber? Okay, I can do that. And the mosquito coils. I like don't, I don't like recognize this as a real product. <laughs> I think it's like a thing that is just like totally out of date now, right? Mosquito coils? Yeah. No, they have them in the Middle East still. Oh yeah? When I'm in Lebanon, they make me use those, or I have to use those for the mosquitoes. Like a can, like a mosquito candle kind of? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they still exist. I, I, I believe it. Question of the day, do you have some? Shit, he's seen us. Cops. Again. Are you kidding? That's fucking him. He's hijacking the trolley? Doesn't he know that thing's Son on a go, track? You go. The trolley. We gotta move fast. Go. Doesn't he know it's on a on a track? He's got hostages though, he doesn't care. I'll call this in, get some cars dispatched. We're gonna have to ram it off the road. Car I can't. Go. Swat sidewind it, go. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Oh, it did, didn't it? K requesting assistance in pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University. It's knocking off the panels. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of the car and driving dangerously. You're doing it. Oh my God, he's going so fast. I don't know if I can do anything. This, he's just plowing through cars, no problem. Holy shit! Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. I'm like, wh what more? Why? Honestly, I kind of wish I had the uh, fire, fire truck. truck. <gasps> oh! See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. I totally did that already. Oh, he's shooting it. Don't leave me hanging out here, Phelps. Move in. Biggs, I'm See, doing you it. You gotta get close enough for Biggs to shoot. Oh, I gotta get on the other side. Yeah. Shit. Okay, come on, pull up. How is this thing outspeeding my fucking car? Give me closer to the driver's cabin. I'll plug chat. Fuck yeah. Oh shit, all right, here we go. Look, Cole. Is that Head game? Line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Grab a gun. Trunk. Trunk boy. Oh, never mind. There he is. Cap him. Oh! No problem. Looks like we have our man. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. Seems to be more of this than a vendetta. <laughs> it's turning into an Autobot! Fires benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that. He's <sighs> getting guy. framed. He got framed. Chapman got framed because he's an arsonist. Yeah. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can. Can you sign a paper guaranteeing my partner his fucking pension then? Wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? Calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Reagan? The actor? <laughs> <laughs> playing with fire, Phelps. You're playing with fire. What is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California fire and life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. What the fuck? Elsa, 
I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. But he's a good dude. Kelso, we could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Fuck. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Like, she's right, but that's, like, not going to happen. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. He's still wearing his wedding ring. This is fucked up. Dude, he's having a hard time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Phelps is trying his best. We can't blame Phelps. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got fucked. He has no friends. Yeah. yeah. The only people that trust him or even talk to him. You're right. He's literally the woman he had an affair with. Right. You, and Biggs. Yeah. And when you're right, you're right. You you're right. You're right. And when you're right, you're right. Tell me some things about a walk in Elysian Fields. Let's do it to it, my dude. Um, so I looked up the uh, achievement that we unlocked. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was for it was for we actually got we double dipped in it twice. Um, it was during the Leland interview. Yeah. We were supposed to accuse him of lying and use of the uh, promotional travel contest and use the field flyers as um evidence yeah or that happened in the rancho escondido fire um we show off the poor cement quality we by did doing both, of those, both of those you get by doing one of those each you get the achievement so we double we double got the achievement got so that was fun um leland monroe is played by john noble a star for fringe lord of the rings the two towers lord of the rings return of the king sleepy hollow and running scared sleepy hollow yeah who the fuck uh, is he playing Sleepy Hollow? I have no idea. I have limited information on this walkie. This walkie. Beard Bros homework bonus. Um, splice yourself eating into that scene where he's eating at the table and and uh, <laughs> that Hobbit is like singing and he's and and he's like eating those tomatoes. Remember that part? Yeah. And everybody's riding and dying. Just put yourself eating in that in that scene instead somehow, of somehow, yeah, somehow, some way. Rancho's Candido can be seen intact prior to the case during the homicide or vice free room modes. While many of the homes and buildings in the game's recreation of LA are finely detailed, it's interesting to note that the homes in Rancho Escondido appeared less detailed, very much keeping with the idea of them being poorly constructed. Yeah, they looked like shit. McKelty compares roast rousting Leland Monroe to calling Nixon a criminal. A tongue-in-cheek reference to the Watergate scandal of 1972 to 74. Nixon reached a national prominence as the U.S. representative for California in 1948 with his involvement in the House Un-American Activities Committee. At that time, nobody thought he was a crook because at the time he was not a crook. That's HUAC. Yeah, that's the HUAC thing that Cole was talking about earlier. While the ammo in Chapman's trunk <coughs> claimed to be a, uh, a uh, 45 or auto rounds, the pistol he pulls out is a revolver. The issue is that uh, I didn't remember it being point forty five auto rounds have a small rim and are difficult to extract from revolver cylinders, which are typically made of a larger round called a forty five long without moon clips, a typical speed reloader clip for revolvers. Also, the only commonly available revolver built to take forty five ACP rounds was the M one nine one seven, a substitute for a short supply of M one nine one ones, which does arguably look similar to the one Chapman removes from his jacket. All right. That's all of our facts for this episode. All my right. Dude. Let's find out what happens next. Let's find out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's to do it. it my to dude. it. Let's beat feet. Petite know. feet. Feminine. Dead step. men are heavier. Must Does that be, uh, mean that I murdered that dude? Maybe. House of sticks. House of sticks. How is it not clear that I'm like the only good cop and that everyone is corrupt? Yeah, I don't know. If California Fire and Life burns down right now, I'm going ham. Here comes this scene. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Yo! We're playing as Jack Kelso! Hell yeah, savor this moment. 
Dear Miss Lickman, pertaining to the matter of policy number 1190, I'm writing to you that you've been to so bad. Fine, $20,000. $20,000. Shit. Courts of a 4A with the life care disability accident death policy of Mitchell Butcher held. No need to come into the office, Miss Lickman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept this. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case filed. Damn. Come on, Kelso. Be a bro. Let's do this, Kelso. Sell it, baby. Sell it. All right. <laughs> There's got to be more in these files. Oh, pink slip. Insured for nine hundred dollars. Why did I get twenty thousand? Can you t oh turn uh turn it over? How? Go to like the edge of the p of the page maybe. Total, okay. While in the employ of Legion Fields Development, Lewis Chan Buck Walter was killed when the roof of the property in which he was working collapsed. So he's a, he's sending the roof structure, property, Normandy property, Avenue, property, Fault, property, Ridge Beam, property, Sag. Autopsy later revealed that cranium was shattered, probably when he struck his head on one of the roof beams. He's a scientific internal injury as a result of the falling timber and died of internal hemorrhaging. Like your friend took a hell of a fall. And I'm testing the Ridge Beam roof truss. Undetectable. Buck Walter was following all stage procedures. Genuine and unavoidable industrial accident. No fault can be ascribed to Legion Fields Developments. Insurance benefits associated with this policy should be paid full to the designated beneficiaries. Huh. But now... $900. That's for the damage, but not for him. I guess. So what... Is this... Am I done in here? I guess back out. Can you leave? <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Kelso. Not fucking around. All right. Oh, we're interviewing her. Okay. Disputed claim payout. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Bill Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. <laughs> this is really weird because we know the truth. Yeah. Doubting. We yeah. Have, you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong in that house. Connection okay. to... You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. Oh boy. <laughs> dowdy, dowdy, dowdy. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. <laughs> we were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that? Mr. Kelso, we spent four years there. Motive for the dispute. Okay. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Seems true. I mean, that is the truth. <laughs> that is what we want. Should I true? Yeah. What the fuck? This is weird. I don't like this. This is like we're betraying ourselves. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna like I really am. fuck up. But you're gonna have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Ms. Lichtman. 
One final question. Did Cole put you up to this? Yes. Can I get your phone number? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this? Oh, he wants, he wants that. He wants her. Mr. Kelso. The address. Not the phone number. What the Kelso? Come on. He wants them digits. Are you kidding me with this? <sighs> Kelso, come on, dude. Oh my god, dude. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. Am I gonna like investigate as him for like a minute? Am I gonna like do a mission as him? That's what we're doing. We're not Kel we're not our boy. But do you think I'm gonna like do a whole case? <laughs> I should make a game where you just play as a claims investigator. <laughs> the exact same shirt. Alright. Hmm. He's gonna threaten me. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I notice Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Oh my God. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady Elsa Lickman is refusing a twenty grand payout. Elsa Lickman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of the it. beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Huh. While Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that she's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Dude, this guy's... Out might be a better way to put this guy's... You know something. Pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Dude. Fine, Jack. Fine. He's going to be like, yo, Cole was right. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. He's gonna try and kill me. What a dick. I'm like so paranoid. Yeah, me too. Would you kindly... Alright. Do Your car, Mr. Kelso. <sighs> Thanks, kid. Alright. This is great. It's my little, like, insurance investigator. He's in field site. Let's fucking go. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Do you think I could pick up a dispatch call? <laughs> we have a uh, old lady who fell down in a uh, on her home. Stop. Ugh. Why would they put my car oh, oh, facing sorry. the wrong way from the way that I need sorry, to Sorry, guys at home. Why? Just sneeze into the mic. Oh, hot. Not into the mic, but like around it. Cool. What's your mic? It's fine. I know, but still. It'd be worse bad. if you were sneezing into my mic. That'd be incredible. Whoa. Dude, I'd be so impressed with myself if I did that. <laughs> like sneezed into your mic from across the room. Be, be baller. You know this. Oh. <laughs> you know this. You know this. What? Does it like think I have my <laughs> siren on? It's your radio, dude. I, I know, but people are like getting out of my way. Who cares? Take advantage of it. I mean, I am. It's just... No, I guess not that guy. Do 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 do. All right, let's go this way. God damn, it's so far away. God, they look so much worse. 
These shitty houses. They're pretty bad. Yeah. All right, here we are. Okay. This is the same place we were at before. Yeah, this is... But I'm an insurance claims investigator now, so they're not going to be so cagey. Hopefully... Alright, should we do this now or should we do this next time? Let's 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 do it next time. Yeah. Alright, guys. Next time on Beer oh, Bros. I was hoping that I'd have you a suit. You can't change a suit I thought, for him. I just thought Kelso has, isn't right. a cop. He has a cool tie though. He does. Yo, if we're not cops, what are we? Still claims investigators? <laughs> so it's a horrible It's not as cool. No, not, not as, cool. as cool. I would love, the I'd love to see the fan art though. <laughs> Just like a mediocre dude. Yeah, just like an average job guy who does. I do my job. Yeah. What was your <laughs> What was your question of the day? Excuse me. Question of the day. Uh, do you know an insurance salesman? I did. Uh, I did. I bought my insurance from my friend Tippin. Tip oh yeah, Tippin was an insurance salesman. Yeah, he was great at it. Tippin used to uh, also edit Beer Bros. Yeah. So there you go. He moved on to better things, obviously. It's a small world. Yeah. Small now he's world. a law student. Yeah. See. He also watches the show. Is he really? I don't know if he's up to this point. I think he just started recently, but that's Great. it. Yeah. We love you, Tippin. Love you, Tips. All right, man. Later, man. Later, man.